Good morning everyone. <coughs> Let's try again, because it's me. Good morning everyone, that's a bit better. Well that actually explains how things are at the moment. <coughs> really going through some interesting times. And most of them are so interesting I don't really have the space to be able to share with you, which is one reason I'm in so quiet. The other reason of course is lack of Wi-Fi and data and that's soon going to be rectified however still in those times at the moment and I'm walking along here and at the moment my environment is in a cloud so it's foggy the screen doesn't really pick it up but it is and we're in the depths of winter and everything is so like it is. Right, I'm going to do something now. I'm going to just turn the screen because I remember it's better for you if I do that. So there we go. <sighs> yeah, it's been such an interesting time. So much going on when you do a house move such a big thing to do and the more stuff you got of course more of a big thing it is just the way it is I, uh, and it's really great to be here because it's not much longer i'll be able to do this as i relocate from lancashire to devon yeah that was nice meeting that guy and saying hello. Kind of thing we do very easily up here. Very slight to remove green on him. Very nice too. But this time of year, how it affects us. So, one of the things I want to share with you is about grounding. And one of the things I've become aware of is there is really no substitute for actually physically making a connection between yourself and the earth now like most people I know I wear shoes which are basically plastic there's a plastic sole on them like pretty much all shoes and that is actually preventing us from being grounded connecting to the earth a really something realization i had recently is that we know that antioxidants are so good for us and what most of us don't realize is that actually the earth the energy of the earth is heaving with antioxidants and if we spend our time in buildings cut off from the earth wearing shoes and clothes which are plastic synthetic yeah, creates a problem. And there is a device that I've spent some money on recently, which is amazing. And Equilibria UK.com is the name of the company. I'll put it in the description. And they actually sell grounding mats and grounding sheets. And the idea is you put this thing on your bed if it's a sheet. If it's a mat, you put it under your sheet. You connect it to the wire, you connect the wire to the mains electricity, and that means it's connected to the earth wire, and that actually literally grounds you, like I'm literally being grounded right now by this tree. So for those who haven't got the money to be able to go to equilibriauk.com and buy one of these grounding sheets, they are absolutely amazing, by the way, because it means I get eight hours a night when I'm in Devon. When I'm in Lancashire, I don't get that. Soon things notice the difference. So I'll be down there in a couple of days, back and forth again. That's going to be amazing. But I feel so much better just from that little connection there. Grounding is one of the really important things in life when you're grounded. So I've always gone on about, yeah, clean the fridge, hoover the floor, wash the dishes. All those are grounding activities. But there's something about a physical connection that's so important. 
Now, if you have that for 40 minutes a day, that's going to make you feel a lot better because the earth is full of antioxidants, which means any free radicals you're picking up through pollution or eating food with cooked in deep fat fryers or takeaway food or whatever, it literally gets neutralised, detoxed. So that's really great to know, isn't it? So I can say that having seven or eight hours in a bed which is connected to the ground, all this stuff is hilarious to me because there was a time I had a really simple life and sometimes I would travel somewhere and cut some maple sticks, make a bender, put my fleece rugs on the floor, get me a bender and go to sleep. That was superb grounding. I've lived in the yurts, geodesic domes, these are superb groundings. I've lived in a 32 foot broads gaff cutter which is a wooden boat on the river ooze that was amazing extraordinary for releasing emotions fantastic actually and i've also lived in caravans which are not good because you're surrounded by metal and it's called a faraday cage and that disconnects you from pretty much everything don't recommend that having done that but now i live a kind of conventional life like other people do in like houses moving from a four bedroom house to a two bedroom flat so it's like I'm moving from normal to normal yeah well it means I spend so much more time inside I literally have to kind of make the effort to go outside into nature because that's what it's like when you live in a house you have to make the effort to get out of the damn thing don't you and it's always a pleasure to do so after the first resistance is overcome it's like, oh, it's warm in the house, I don't want to go out. Oh, I can't get out. So here we go, one of my favourite places. There's not many more opportunities for me to come here, so I thought I'd share it with you. So I love the richness of the mosses there, the colour, so beautiful. Oh, and I love that tunnel out of which the water flows. That's really beautiful too. So this is one of my sacred spaces. I've brought many people here. I've helped them to let go of things that no longer serve them by leaving offerings. Such an easy thing to do. All sorts of ways you can do it, but basically it's all intent based. You can either pick a leaf or a little branch or you can hawk up and have a really good spit. And remember, spitting is incredibly shamanic. Um, really good and with the intent with what you want to let go of you just let go of it really so simple whatever it is you might want to let go of so great opportunity to let go and let it drop into the water and you can just watch it being carried away by the water that's a great thing to do so thank you very much Hindburn the river Hindburn for all your gifts you've given me over the years. I love this part of the world. And I'm partly grieving because I'm grieving letting it go. And I'll be welcoming Devon into my existence. And that will be what it is, I'm sure. So thank you very much for listening, folks. And this will go up whenever I get the chance to get a bit of Wi-Fi.